How you doing? Hope you've had a lovely day today. Um, and sun's been shining, hasn't it? So, um, anyway, yesterday I was given a load of some books. So tonight's story is going to be Croc Needs to Wait. And it's all about waiting. So if you're sitting comfortably, then you need wait no longer. Oh, I've just got a wobby in the house. Anyway, he's gone. Right. <clears throat> Croc was very impatient. On the day of Giraffe's birthday party, she kept asking her mum if it was time to go yet. But her mum said she would just have to be patient and wait. Let's see if I can show you the pictures as we go along. On Monday, Miss Bird asked everyone what they'd done at the weekend. She said they had to take turns to speak. But Croc was too excited to wait her turn. She kept interrupting. Miss Bird got cross. She said it was rude to interrupt someone when they were speaking. Well, it is, isn't it? At playtime, it was raining. Everyone had to stay inside and play board games. Croc loved board games, but she got too impatient to wait her turn. When it was Monkey's turn, Croc grabbed the dice instead. Worse still, she knocked over the board by accident. Everyone was cross with Croc for spoiling the game. Look at the mess. After playtime, Miss Bird asked Croc and Hippo to colour in a picture. Hippo coloured really carefully and kept in all the edges, but Croc was impatient to finish the picture. She didn't keep in the edges at all. Miss Bird said it was not neat enough to go on the wall. Hippo was upset. He said Croc should have been more patient. Oh, look, can you see the mess? Look at the mess. And Hippo's was all nicely done there, look. Next day, Miss Bird said that they were going to make clay pots for their parents. Ooh, that sounds exciting. She said they must make them carefully. She said they must wait for the pots to dry before painting them. Can you guess what's going to happen? But Croc was so pleased to be making a pot for her mum that she didn't take her time. She rushed it and her pot ended up a very odd shape. Croc didn't wait for the pot to dry before she painted it and all the paint ran off the pot and made a mess. And Croc was really sad. She should have waited, shouldn't she? Croc went to see Miss Bird. Miss Bird asked her what she thought she could have done. Croc thought about it. She said she should have taken her time. She said she should have been patient. She said she should have waited for the pot to dry before she painted it. Miss Bird said it was better to be patient and careful than to rush and spoil things. Croc said she would try and be patient in the future. That afternoon, Miss Bird said they were all going to make model boats to sail on the school pond. She said they had to work in pairs. Croc wanted to work with Hippo. Hippo was worried. He said Croc had to work carefully, and Croc promised that she would. Miss Bird gave everyone the instructions to read. She said they had to take turns to do each job. You see them all? Then Croc painted the boat. She took her time and painted it really well. She and Hippo waited for the paint to dry. And last of all, Croc waited patiently while Hippo put the sail on the boat. Oh, how good is that? Boat looks amazing, doesn't it? Everyone took their boats to the pond 
All the boats sailed well, but Croc and Hippo's boat sailed the best of all. Croc was very pleased. She told Miss Bird that it was much better to be patient than to rush things and spoil them. Hippo said it was much nicer to work with someone who was patient. Look, their boat's winning. It's the red boat there. So that was really good, wasn't it? So, it's better to wait. Just wait and be patient and let things take time sometimes. You can't rush everything. So I really enjoyed reading that. So that's the first in a few stories <coughs> all about different things that we need to learn. So I hope you enjoyed it. I love you loads and I will talk to you tomorrow. So um, it's good to have you back, Ruby. Hope you had a lovely holiday. So um, have sleep well and Nana loves you loads and loads and loads. So... Night, night, Ruby. Night, night, Max. Night, night, Atty. And night, night, Torben. Love you loads. Mwah. And be good. Bye.